So let's talk Detroit a little bit before I send you on your Monday, Chris Long. I mean, one of the unexpected storylines was Green Bay blocking and tackling the Lions into a second home game in the playoffs and damn near giving him a third, you know, yes. um, and the Lions taking that second home game and uh, winning a tough game against a Buccaneers team that has a real, you know, SOB at quarterback who just won't quit and that defense that can blitz and they, it was a nails win, no doubt about yeah. it. But yeah. uh, I, I'm with you. I think the Lions can win this NFC championship game. There's no and doubt. I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have said it six seven weeks ago. I'll admit that. Like I wouldn't have said it. I wanted to see. I think it's fair for people to want to see teams play in the playoffs. Sure. You know, it's it's fair to want to see what teams are made of in the playoffs. And I think you know, like, hey, if it's forty and it's raining, I don't like Jared Goff in that spot. Okay, but I looked at the forecast. It's sixty four. It's sunny. A lot can change in a week. Um, I think with their ability to run the football, you know, Green Bay came out of the Dallas game and you might say, but this is San Francisco, it's different. They give up the same per pop on the ground, Dallas and San Francisco. And you saw that they could move the ball on the ground. Um, I think for Detroit, they can absolutely move the ball on the ground. Uh, and if, if the weather's okay, I think Jared Goff's going to see some things he likes in coverage. I'll just say this. These are these teams that Dan Campbell's talking about. These are shallow water teams. You know, they just beat. You know, they're, they're, they're threats. They'll, they'll, they'll drown you if they can, but the Bucks, the Rams, upstart teams that kind of, they're truly wild card type teams, uh, even though the Bucks won their division. Now you're going to see another deep water team in the Niners. And if you get to the Super Bowl, you're going to see another deep water team. And so I cannot wait to see Dan Campbell in these spots because everything he's done this year has been the right way. I mean, it, right down to playing his guys. Cause I truly don't believe there is ready to play in, in that game last week against the Rams, which took every ounce of focus, attention to detail, competitiveness. I don't think they're ready for that game. If he doesn't play his guys against Minnesota and you know, the way they played that game, the two big chances that Tampa Bay had was the Dean pick in the end zone, which he dropped early in the game. And then third and 15 on the 31 17 drive two weeks in a row, third and, and way too long. A team gives up a conversion to, I think Amon Ross St. Brown in both, in both situations. Um, and just like the Rams, you know, the bucks find themselves up, you know, what Creek because they couldn't get off the field. And so like they're daring to throw the ball in two second and eight last week. You know, the the play calls in third and short and fourth and short yesterday, they're just nails. I really do believe that. Like, they're such a well-coached football team, and they're always ready for situational football. And then, you know, like Derek Barnes, how about him missing Dak, whiffing Dak, thinking, oh, I might be part of the reason we're not going to get a home game. You get the home game anyways, and then you go win it for your team. Yeah. Like, th these are all signs of a team that's just mentally tough, and I think you cannot ignore Dan Campbell um, and his effect on on the psyche of this football team. They, they're just nails. Especially since, Chris, I mean, if you want to talk about, it's still too early to talk signature wins since, yeah. again, you know, he's now, what, 22 and 7, I believe now, in his last 29. That That's yeah. that, that's kind of like the, the turning point in his now three-year tenure with the team. Um, and so, but the, his signature wins – aren't really home ones, even though the last two weeks are the stuff of what dreams are made for Lions fans in the state of Michigan. It's those road games, man. It's yeah. like the, it's like closing out Aaron Rodgers' career in Green Bay when they got nothing to play for and they just learned they had nothing to play for. Yeah, when they ruined it. Right, yeah. and, then, and then it's the season opener this yeah. year. And then it was the Thursday night short week game against Green Bay. And again, I understand the Chiefs are a different team now. And then obviously the Packers grew into something else, but you can only play them when you play them. And, and those were statement wins, statement W's. And then came the swoon that caused you to say, you know what? I need to see what they look like in the playoffs. I can't wait to see them go to San Francisco. They usually can just buckle in and just circle the wagons to use a phrase. I, I'm, I don't know, man. This this is not the this way. Is, if the weather's good, they can win this game. 
And if Debo's out, they can certainly win this game. Well, I, I mean, Goff I looked wasn't at the line. The line was seven last night when I went to bed, Rich. What do you think I did? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. When you pounded talk, the Lions. <laughs> Pounded the Lions, bro. Let's go. Well, I mean, and, but Purdy, Goff's not the one who's wiping his hand, fading back in the rain. You know what I mean? So uh, if it no, rains, it would, affect the, it would affect the Niners quarterback, too. And you, you make a great point. I think, you know, like people think, you know, uh, Goff out in the elements, but Purdy's hands aren't that big. You know, when I talked to a guy who played quarterback in the league for a long time, I asked, you know, what's the key to playing in the cold? I asked a couple guys and big hands came up a couple times and, you know, I'm not saying Purdy's not a good player or anything like that. Same thing I'm saying about golf, but some of the issues that you might project golf having, Purdy could have them too. The ball was wet the other night, the rush. I think that's the big thing. And, you know, for Shanahan, who picks up the blitz so well, like he's got an answer for everything. I think one thing that Aaron Glenn's done a really nice job of since week 10, they've upticked the early down pressure numbers by over 10%. And it's subtle, but you can see it on the field. You know, like a lot of the times they got Tampa behind the sticks yesterday, they brought pressure on first and second down. And and I think well-timed blitzes, that's going to be more of a tightrope to walk this week. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.